cultural park now. We've had enough beer. This is the Rat House. The the um, City Hall. City Hall. It's time for the marathon in Vienna, so the whole place is kitted out. You know, with beer tents and everything, which spoils it a bit. It's a matter of opinion. <laughs> it's a massive park in front, and you've got the university at one side and Parliament at the other, but I can't show you that. There's all these beer tents. an opera. Everybody's gone now. Um, this is just to show you how big it is. I mean, the stall's down there. It's got five different levels. Lower Belvedere Palace. There's actually two palaces, the lower and the upper, and we're at the lower and we're actually at the back door of it at the moment. It's rather a bit of a grand back door. We're going to go in here to the museum to see the Klimt, the kiss that we've got in our kitchen. And then when we go out the front door, there's a massive garden that leads to the upper one. This is like a, what do you call this, a pond, lake, whatever you want to call it. All these flowers. It's chillier today, it's a bit cooler so we've got our anoraks on. We're now at the front of the house and this is the garden that I was telling you it leads down to the other palace. And then this is the front of the house which we'll get a better view of when we're further away. Looking straight down the garden to the upper palace. No, this is lower palace. That is the upper Belvedere. Behind that somewhere over there is another palace that we'll be showing. We're now at the halfway stage and Peter was quite right. We were at the upper Belvedere and this is looking at the front door now of the upper Belvedere. And this is where the kiss lives. It's like a fountain in front of it. 
This is the front door of the lower Belvedere. Peter's very disappointed that they haven't trimmed the trees for us. Look at this, it's a bit shoddy. A bit spiky, yeah. Charge us five pounds to come in and they haven't even dumped them in trees. <laughs> down another brewery so we're, we're trying four at beers in special little glasses and Alton Brewing equipment's there where you've just seen it and uh, they've got the uh, Monaco Grand Prix on. <laughs> There's a nice beer garden outside, the food in here looks uh, pretty good. You've just seen a big, a bloke eating a big um, uh, knuckle of ham. Uh, it looks absolutely massive. It's like the ones that you get up at Burgoff or used to get up at Burgoff. So it's quite a good place. Right in the centre of the picture now is the Belvedere Palace. It's just that we've come, I don't know how many miles up the hill now. This is a very strange building. It's an incinerator. What can you say about it, Peter? Um, a very well-known local designer to design it and they didn't want it to look like an incinerator because it was going to be in the middle of the city. It's done pretty well really. <laughs> The block on the campsite that told us to come up here. wine growing area, that's why we're up here actually to go and drink some wine. Mm -hmm. it's quite quickly into the countryside really. <laughs> we're in a beauty game and this is the measure of wine that you get. A quarter of a pint. Quarter of a litre is it? It's a quarter of a litre. Half a pint. Half a pint of wine. It's amazing. We've been walking ever since we showed that big hill, we've just walked right down it. <laughs> This is what we've got. You might pork, cream cheese, and a trick of that one. So we're going to get on with it. Come on. Mm, really strange. <laughs> and a different one now. Janice is just getting us some to eat. <laughs> you fancy a bit of that beef there. So. And a little giant Florentine. There we go. 
Just to finish off Vienna now, we're just on our way back to the campsite on our last night and this is the outside of the opera where we were last night. Really, really nice. Not like that top bit, but I like all this, this balcony part of it here. You can actually stand on that balcony. I like that bit. Just like general view down the street. I think we found it, Vera. Don't know if you'll remember this. Peter on his bike there. This is the lamp outside. I think you can see that it says Gastoff Fertnerbrow. And the name of the hotel is here. Fertnerbrow. Our bedroom is this one up here. That's our bedroom. And then just going down the street. That's down to that fountain where Peter had his bike. See the tops of these buildings. That's straight opposite the hotel. If we'll film it from outside bedroom window, it might be easier. That's Peter's bike all wrapped up. And that's back to the hotel. This is on the wall straight outside the door. This is the front door. Yes, it's for nuns drinking beer. This is a monastery from 1040 that now produces, but it's the oldest brewery in the world. It's about half past eight at night. We're 10 minutes walk from Vera's hotel. We've got the oldest brewery in the world, so we're going to see if we can get in and get a beer. Right, we've got inside the, um, the beer hall now. So we've just got some big wheat. Some sausages and a sausage salad. This is a right good one for me. Don't forget the beer. And we've got two different wheat beers. So it's quite a nice place. We've got different tankards all around the top. Then that's the uh, beer garden outside there. Right, we're just going to get there. This is the uh, inside of the Fertner Brow. This room that we've got is it's quite a big room. It's a really long room. So, uh, Janice is right tidy, we've just been to the brewery. Sort of um, really old big doors. All the original doors. It's like original wiring as well. <laughs> Just me there. <laughs> 
you got your sink and everything, you've got a shower in room and a wardrobe and uh, a massive dual bed but right big room look at the size of this bed it's got two single mattresses on it <laughs> it's huge isn't it cheeky chops mm, 28 pounds Bed and breakfast. Don't shout. Not bad, is it? No. Yeah. Prepared 14 pounds, Cap. Oh. We just got up this morning, we're just having breakfast. Having coffee and there. Yeah. Some bread and jam and patty and cheese. Quite a nice dining room in here. We're still at the Furton Brown. Yeah. It's got all stag zones up. If you've been able to see that right one, but it's quite a it's right nice window in this door. It's got like uh, a hunter on it, and uh, not a woman hunter. It's difficult to see through the camera. It's a nice place. Nice. Yeah. That, that big clock up above this doorway. That's the hotel down there. We've been walking around a bit. And this is the only butchers on the street, but it's a bit of a different one now. Probably. It's all modern. It's a beautiful butcher, is this? They've got little displays in window, uh, sausages and stuff. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know whether this is your cafe or not. I think that might be a bit bigger than Giza's cafe. <laughs> There's that big church tower over there. It's all quite modern around here now. is further up the street. I've got a feeling this here is town hall. It's got a sundial on it. It's town hall, it says Rath Town. It's striking nine o'clock. Looks really nice. <coughs> 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 Another nice place we found. It's right nice. Town. Oh, front of it's all decorated. Full of right old buildings. Wondering whether this was where the gate was up the side of it, the hotel. We'll have a quick walk up.
It's tricky to film. It's full of old, really old wardrobe. And stuff. down to bathrooms and that massive old wardrobe. is down where we're staying. This is our bedroom. It's a look at the bar in there outside. So. Right, we're going to get off now. This is just found, well, we're, we're actually in Cockham, um, Mazel. Janice has just found us this cracking bed and breakfast. It's really nice. The bed is enormous. Fourteen pound a night, bed and breakfast. I think it's rather spiffy. This is Berg Elks Castle near Cockham that Lorraine and Carl told us to come to. It's hidden in the little valley in the woods. You've got to walk to it from a car park and then you sort of suddenly come upon it. But we've actually scrambled over some rocks to get a, a bird's eye view before we do the entrance proper. Right, we've just taken a photo from up here. We've come right down into this valley here, across the ridge, up these steps up here, and then this is the actual castle. There's Janice there, looking fairly warm. Right in the middle of a, a big wooded valley. We've got inside now, it's quite tight inside, but it's uh, a 
You get an idea of what it's like. Right, we've just parked up here. Got ourselves a nice cream. Right, we've just parked up here. Got ourselves an ice cream. We've just come off at Autobahn. We've done 140 mile an hour on Autobahn for a bit. So we'll stop for a break now, we'll let the bike cool off a bit. Yeah. We had to uh, we had to back off at 140 because it, we've got side winds today. So we're wobbling a bit with bikes. So. And this is view over Cockham. Really nice castle. We're staying sort of off the other end of this bridge here. In town down there. And there's a uh, cable car goes up that way. There we go. Dennis is enjoying her ice cream. Hazelnut, chocolate chip and banana. Really good. Hazelnut. Chocolate chip and yogurt. That's our breakfast for this morning. Yeah, be yourself in Belgium. We've now arrived in Antwerp and this is the first bar that we're visiting. It's called the Leaning House because it's, well, it's practically falling to pieces. And we're drinking the de Kunik. Peter's drunk is, haven't they? First bar. I'm going to give you um, a guided tour around Antwerp now. This is another bar we've come into. It's down in a cellar. He's on quite a way down there. Bar three, the great white eagle. Mine's a light one, Johnny's is on the, the dark one. It's got like a courtyard outside of this place. There's been a cat wandering about somewhere behind it. Quite nice old fresh flowers. Oh, there are greetings from Antwerp. <laughs> from three local Antwerpians, <laughs> <laughs> all the way from Manchester. It's a small world. And by the way, your, your husband's nicking your tea. <laughs> right, thanks. 
<laughs> so it's just about to um, guinea fowl with apricots, yeah? I'll do one it. Oh, look at that. Guinea fowl with cherries. Mm -hmm. And a special beer. Yeah. Augustine. <laughs> 8%. Day 2 and bar 6. <laughs> and with all odd numbers, even numbers. <laughs> Wheat beer. Uh, bar, is it 7 now? Bar 7. The 11th commandment. It's got a religious theme to it, is this bar? You might guess. Janice, I'm going to have a quick shifty through the menu. Quick shifty. This is just beers. Oh, there was one coffee in there. Oh, well, then. Yeah. Oh, well, That's not beer. Double-sided. So. Janice? So, bar 13, probably the last bar that we'll be going to in Antwerp. It's quite, um, it's quite a flashy bar. Very modern. Right, we'll 
back in Britain with Stephen Sherry. And you can see preparations for the uh, Queen's Jubilee. Hot balloons are out. <laughs> All this lot down here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Only a jack. That's a little beauty, isn't it? <laughs> That's a cracking car, isn't it?